welcome aboard the Queen Mary for the 2020 Woman of Achievement pageant, acknowledging the beauty and self-service, self-development, and education in today's modern woman. So what made you decide to create this pageant back when? I think that a lot of women, after they age out of Miss America, they want a place to go to show their talents, creativity, and also just starting nonprofits, going back to school, it doesn't stop at 26. Women are still achieving, they're still beautiful. The reigning 2019 Mrs. U.S. Woman of Achievement. How are you today? I am great. How are you? Sometimes it's a little sad, right? Because you have to give up the crown that you've loved so much, right? I know, but the wonderful thing about Woman of Achievement is you never really have to go away. <laughs> oh. You can always be involved. You, you always can lift other women up, help other women compete, come back year after year. I'm actually here tonight to give a nice scholarship for the best gown for two people. And uh, my platform was to help the Humane Society, so I'm the fundraising director in Florida. Oh, okay, so now when we're talking about the gown, what do you think, any kind of secrets or any advice you give those girls, like how to pick the right one? Oh, absolutely, the blingy, the betterer. No. <laughs> there she go, Laura's telling us, the blingier, the better. I'm so excited to see the gowns, and definitely I can't wait to see the crowning. I've been selected to be the head judge tonight for the Miss Woman of Achievement, and I'm very excited and happy for that honor. Yeah, so I know I've seen you at other pageants, so this one's a little different, right? Is it about achievement or diversity? Tell us a little bit about what the judges are looking for today. How about both diversity and accomplished women? I am a lifetime queen. I've been a part of the program since 2014, and I give away the largest platform scholarship named Beverly Jean in honor of my grandma uh, for Alzheimer's. But he is a judge. He's very important man. And the ladies are all looking like it's going to be it's going to be a tough competition this year, Danny. Yeah, you know it's be pretty tough, but uh, I'm looking forward to it and judging and helping out and going from there. Well, let's see who's going to win, right? There's so many amazing women. We got a chance to meet everybody over the last three days and I can truly truly say every one of us is a woman of achievement. I am here with Trey Ireland. He's one of the judges. Yes, yes, yes. Good times. Good times. We're already meeting a lot of contestants out here. It seems yeah, like. they're kind of aggressive right now. It's a whole different type of mentality that I'm, I'm seeing. That no matter what age you are, it's, it's serious about it. <laughs> they want to win. They want to be interviewed and they're ready for the crown. Yeah, they want to be known. They want to get their moments in time. So they're serious about uh, framing that. That is right. Right. So I know you do a little bit of acting and you produce too? A little bit, a little bit at Sony Screen Gems. Last movie I did was uh, Death at a Funeral oh. where uh, Martin Lawrence, Chris Rock. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, so hey, I produced that. So tell me, what is a legacy queen, huh? We are ones that have been a national title at one time and we have been here to promote and care for the pageant and so we've been voted in. Mm -hmm. We get to be woohoo legacies. Yes, so tell us. The contestants, some of them I talked to them, they're a little nervous this year. So any advice you give them? My advice would just enjoy the journey. Just relax and have fun. She just did it. This is our 2020 Miss National United States. And I'm talking about Diana Chavez. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Is this exciting? This was, uh, this was very unexpected. Yeah. And I'm very excited and very honored to have this. Hi, I'm Angelique Marie. I'm your new Miss Elite US Woman of Achievement. And what's up, Orange County? Woohoo! You were doing it up on that stage tonight. Yes, I was working it. That's what I tend to do. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, like, have you done pageants in the past? Or? Yes, I was in the Miss America system. I did a lot of pageants, but I haven't done a pageant in 20 years. Hey, I'm Alicia Curry, the new Mrs. Elite Woman of Achievement USA. And what's up, Orange County? My platform's all about audacious confidence. It's from the inside out. How do you be bold and confident and be more, do more, have more, and live the life that you really deserve to live? Hello, my name is Allison Heitman. I am your 2020 Ms. Woman of Achievement Ambassador Queen. What's up, Orange County? Was it hard to decide on the outfit? Not really. When I found the dress in the store, it just 
popped right out at me. It said, I'm good, I it, love it. It said, I want you, I said, I want you too. My name is Erica Champagne, and I was just crowned as your Mrs. U.S. Woman of Achievement, and what's up, Orange County? You got the title, you got the dress win, you got the flowers, you got it all, and you were part of a great pageant, isn't it? Yes, it was honestly, all of these girls just do such an amazing job, and the work that they do is just phenomenal, and I'm just so glad to see every one of these girls here. What a pleasure it was to speak with this year's winners here at the Woman of Achievement pageant right here on the Queen Mary.